Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Yankee Dabble, where every day is a train show, and we have some spectacular new things to show you, so without any further hesitation, let's get started with some 40-foot reefers from Atlas, and check out these guys. These are awesomely detailed cars here. We got the Wrath, Black Hawk, and Bacon from the Land of Corn. We have here the MKNT. We have here the Brinks and Sun. And then finally, we have here the Producers Protos Company. And these are just cool looking guards here. I mean, these are obviously a little bit old school here, but just take a look at the detailing that goes into these cars here. They look really nice here. If you've got a, a train that's around this uh, turn of the century era type that you try to model here, these are just awesome looking cars here. I love all the separately applied detailing. If we take a look at the roofs here, get a close up of the roof there to see the various different hatches that are there. I mean, this is a really neat looking car here. You know, Engineer Hall, when you said we were going to be looking at reefers, I thought we were talking about something else, but I guess these are fine. Anyway, hey. yeah, I, I know. Anyway, but these are really great looking cars here, and I have a couple of different ones. So if you want to come up with a nice unit train, a wood reefer train to uh, put up behind a uh, steam locomotive, I think these things are going to look great. Now, they retail for $42.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $28.99. These are really solidly built cars. You do not need to weigh these down. They have die cast metal wheels that glide on the tracks. I don't know what you're waiting for. So get these on your railroad today because I know you're really going to like them. All right, so I got some brand new cars that you're going to be hopping to get to. It's stupid. All right, so check out these Atlas cover hopper cars here, and I have a bunch of different road names like the Podash Corporation. I have the DMIR. I have the Kerr McGee. Of course, everyone knows the CSX. We have the Georgia Pacific, and finally, we're wrapping it up with the Can Car. Now, these are cool looking cars here. As you can see, this makes a fantastic unit train here. These glide across the track effortlessly. Atlas does a great job of coming up with a high quality car that you are going to be proud to put on your track and not worry about it falling off, derailing, any of that fun stuff there because these things are built solid. Now, you might be thinking, what do these cars go for? Well, they retail for $33.95. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabble to get this for $23.99, okay? If you want to come up with a nice long unit train of all of these uh, cover hopper cars, this is a very economical way to do it. You can get a bunch of these cars here, maybe even just the potash. If you want to get a whole bunch of those and come up with a nice long unit train behind a diesel locomotive, this is an awesome way to go here. Very affordable, very nice cars. So get them on your layout today because, once again, I know I keep saying it, but I know you're really going to like them. And if you don't buy them, then I'm just buying them. So... Help me. So those of you who watch the show know I have a little bit of an affection for the Reading and Northern Railroad, and they do a lot of really cool things. And so Walters have come out with a brand new diesel locomotive of the Reading and Northern that we're going to take a look at here. This is the Walters Mainline SD50 Reading and Northern diesel locomotive. So check out this guy here, and I really like this engine here. This is prototypically painted in their Reading and Northern Fast, Fa fast Freight paint scheme and this is a great looking diesel locomotive here you can actually still see this engine on the Reading and Northern today so if you are someone that likes to model the Reading and Northern or just want an engine that you can still see in service today this is one to go with here now this is a really neat engine and it's very economical too because Walther's here is selling this engine for 209.98 but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for 167.99 in my opinion Anytime you could get a nice quality diesel locomotive for under $200, I would run to go get it because it is definitely worth it. But let's hear what it sounds like. Here is the horn. Here is the bell. And let's pull it out.
back her up, shall we? And while the sentence is here, let's put up that fast rate of all these covered hopper cars. And connect for the first time out. All board. Now pulling in on the By Me Now track, train number 5029, By Me Now. So that's an awesome look at diesel locomotive and once again i really like the reading and northern look and i think this car train actually fits really nice behind that diesel locomotive so once again this thing retails for 209.98 we're selling it for 169 oh sorry 167.99 so get this angel anger layout today complete that reading and northern train and all aboard for another fast freight you might be looking for some new containers to pull on your railroad well we got you covered here with these uh three packs from athens we got two different ones here we have the one Kind of ironic, the one three pack. And then we have the Merce three pack here. And these are really cool because they have different designs. You have the, uh, the rainbow color, you have the big uh, lettering, and you have the small lettering here. Now, these are really nicely detailed containers to put on your wild cars or wherever you want to put your containers. So if you're looking for something to pull on your wild cars here, get these on your layout. I highly recommend get these containers on here. They are really nicely detailed. High quality cars here, and they have some weight to it too, and that's always a good thing. Engineer Hall and I were saying that it's always good to have a little weight on your train. That's why I've been doing that in real life, you know? So it keeps you on the rails. Anyway, so these containers sell for $36.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.99. So come in the Yankee Dabbler, get these on your layout today. We got some more cover hoppers over here, but you're taking a look at here, and these are the Atlas Pressure Aid cover hoppers. Check out these bad boys here because these are really cool looking cars. These are the, uh, I got a bunch of road names as usual. Of course, I have the ADM. I have the Grace Division here. I have the Penford Products Company. I'll slide these down a little bit here. I have the ACFX. I actually have a couple of different variations of them. And then finally here, I have the OMYA. And these are really great looking detail cars because if you take a look up top, you can see that they all have etched metal walkways here. That's a great detail that they have here. And these cars here, you'll have to take my word for it because... Uh, TV has not come up with a way to feel things, but these are really heavily, these are heavy cars. They have a lot of weight to them. And so these cars glide on the track well. They are not going to be falling off there. You do not need to weight these down. And these are just overall awesome looking cars here. And once again, the price is really another sell key selling point to these cars here. Take a look at the undercarriage there. You see just a lot of detailing there. So these cars retail. For $47.95, and truthfully, at that price, it might be worth it. But we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $33.99. It's a great deal to get on these cars. Of course, you can always throw on the Engineer Hall discount and get a little extra off there. But I love these cars here. They just look great. They sound great on the rails. And we're going to pull these in, in a minute with another engine that we're going to have coming up. Uh-oh. Did I just give away my next thing? Darn. Oh, well. Yes, we're going to be taking a look at another diesel. Let's check it out. All right, I know the anticipation is killing you, and poof, diesel. Whew, I'm getting a little flush here, getting so excited. Anyway, these are the new B23-7s from Atlas, and these are really cool diesel locomotives here. Of course, I have here the Southern Pacific. 
But I got a couple of other different row names here for your consideration, including the Santa Fe. And a kind of unusual row name here. We got the Finger Lakes Railway, and that is definitely a oddity. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, yeah, that might be the way to go there. As you can see in the front here, they all have illuminated headlights, and the neat thing about them is they all have engineer figures inside of them. So that is a neat detail that Atlas is starting to do with their diesel locomotives here. Now, Atlas is doing a really great job of coming out with a lot of really high-quality diesel locomotives that sound great, and for a good price, too. These locomotives retail for $289.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.95. We should name this show the Day of Deals for Diesels because these are some awesome deals to have on these locomotives here. And once again, just like we do, because I just like to waste time and play with trains, we're gonna hear what it sounds like. So, all aboard. All right, let's start her up. Here is the horn. Here is the bell. I like that bell. And here we go. Now pulling in to the Buy Me Now track, the really Buy Me Now Express. So that is a cool looking diesel locomotive there with those cars there. I think this train looks awesome. Again, this engine retails for $289.99. We're selling it for $199.95. I'm sorry, $199.95. You're going to really love this engine just like all the others. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get this engine, and add it to your fleet. We got one more brand new item that we're going to show you. We'll show you a lot of Atlas stuff. Now we're going to switch it up with Walther's. We're going to be taking a look at these 53-foot bulkhead flat cars here from Walther's. And I really like these cars here. That I have a bunch of different road names, including the CB and Q. I have the ATSF. I have the Union Pacific. I have a really nice Sioux Line car here. And finally, the Northern Pacific. Now, usually when people come up with a flat car, it's, you know, pretty standard. But these flat cars are actually really detailed here. And I'm going to take a look at the Sioux Line car here because I think the color is going to show it best on film. But as you can see here, I have a tremendous amount of detailing. So that's the first thing. But this actually is a metal frame that I have here on this car. It's not plastic. It has some weight to it. It's going to stay on your track. I do have metal wheels. Plus, you take a look at all the detailing at the bulkhead here. I mean, this is just a really great looking car here. And again, a flat car is not really a car that gets a lot of love. Well, these cars are really well done. I think you're really going to like these cars here. So get them on your layout today because I think these are just really nicely detailed, really nicely decorated. They are well made. And you know me, I like well made stuff. So, I mean, between this and the hoppers, I think you have a really nice train that you're creating. Hmm. Idea. Well, that's a great looking train, and hopefully some of those items are fitting your appetite, and hopefully will find their way on your railroad. But of course, if none of this stuff interests you, I don't want to talk to you. All right, fine. If none of this stuff is fit your uh, appetite, don't worry, because we have our full, uh, fully stocked website, yankeedabbler.com. 
click at our website, type in whatever you're looking for. I guarantee we have it because we are continuously adding stuff daily onto our website. But hopefully some of these things are interesting to you and hopefully we'll find our way on your railroad real soon. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the updated things that he has. I mean, everybody's done doing it. As a matter of fact, I saw billboard after billboard in Center City that says subscribe to Engineer Hall. How much did that set you back, by the way? Priceless. Really? Wow. Oh, the spray painting looks pretty good, though. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, but there's uh, all these new things that are going to be coming up on the channel, so you're not going to want to miss that. We're going to conclude this week's video with our rail fan video. And, of course, we talked about the Reading and Norton diesel locomotive. So, I'm going to show you that fast freight in action going through Port Clinton. So, enjoy the Reading and Norton fast freight. Well, until next time, my name is DJ, and if you excuse me, I have an appointment with my lawyer. I'm getting my will amended. You know, my family loves me and all, but truthfully, I think my steam engines should be my beneficiary. They understand me the best. So, I gotta take care of that. Enjoy the video, and we'll see you next time. Diesel might too.